back. Today we are going to do Jane's 18 month update. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? She's waving. Say hi. Say it. <laughs> um, I haven't done a sit down video in forever and this is our new house. Um, I don't know if this is going to be the spot that I do it all the time but I'm getting good light here and it's easier to sit up in a chair so Jane doesn't attack the camera. Um, so I'm going to try to do this with her, but as usual, she will probably go up and down from sitting up here with me during the video. But she is saying a lot of new things this month. Yeah. And um, so most of these are new words that she's saying, but there are some other things that happened this month, so I'm just going to get started. First of all, she has 10 teeth now. She started with six at the beginning of the month, and she got four new teeth this month. Can you say hi? Look to the camera. Hi. Um, so she, now she has four bottom teeth and four top teeth. No. Yeah, four bottom teeth, four top teeth. And then the beginning of, of the month, she started with four top and two bottom. So the two on the side of the two bottom ones came in. And then she has two molars that came in. Um, so that was interesting. And she was definitely teething during the molar thing. It was pretty bad. Um, the biggest thing is we moved to South Carolina. If you guys are following me or subscribed to my channel, you already know that. Um, but we moved all the way from South Carolina. So when Jane turned 18 months, that's, or actually she was 17 months when we moved. Um, she's 18 months now as of June 19. What? Right. Let's see if you can say things to the camera. Um, she did really well with the move, and she's loving South Carolina, right? This is um, where Chris and I both were born, so we're happy to have her back with us. Let's see. Can you say hair? What's this? What is this? Hair. Hair. She says it a lot clearer than that sometimes, but hair is in one of her new words. Can you say pig? Pig. Pig is something she can um, point out a pig and she can say pig. Um, she says bzzz whenever she sees a bug. Can you say bzzz? Mostly a bee, but if she sees a fly or anything else that like buzzes by her head, she'll go bzzz. Um, she says... Um, she'll say, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? And then she'll say, here it is. Anything that it is, mostly food or stuffed animals or something, she'll say, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Here it is. Can you say that? Yay. Here it is. Yay. There she goes. Um, cause she can say Barney and that's another one of her new favorite shows. She loves Sesame Street still, but Barney is another one of her favorite shows that she likes. We actually didn't get cable when we moved here, so we're watching a lot of Netflix and there's a ton of Barney on there and she loves Barney. Can you say Barney? Can you say Barney? Say it. Barney. Um, let's see what else she says. Oh, she tells the dogs all the time to stay. Can you tell you say stay. 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 Anytime she wants to touch them or put something on their head or mess with them at all, she tells them to stay. Stay. And she definitely got that from us. Um, she can say more, and we're trying to get her, um, she's really still good at saying please, and we're trying to get her to say more please or more when she wants something. Try not to be too demanding. Um, so she can say more, but she doesn't say it by herself. We have to ask her to say it, but she definitely says it. Um, she also tells the dog to drop whenever she um, wants them to drop something. Can you say drop? Drop. She's looking away from you guys, so I don't know if you can hear her, but um, if the dogs have a toy or something, um, she will tell them to drop. She also says cookie, and she says cookie for an actual cookie, and she also says cookie for Cookie Monster on Sesame Street. So she identifies them both as cookie. Um, she says boo 
So if we're playing peekaboo or something, or she wants to hide something over her face, she'll come out and say boo. It's really cute. Um, she says, hey, girl. Whenever she walks into a room, if she um, wants to say hi to you, she'll say, hey, girl. Um, and she says, pretty. Whenever she puts something on, like a headband, or she likes to wrap clothes around her neck and stuff and on her shoulders, and she'll say, pretty. You in mommy's wallet? Here, come here. Can you come up here? Okay, no. Um, she also says outside. Um, when we moved here, there's a huge playground in our backyard, and so she loves going out there. And we like going out there, too. It gets a lot of shade. So she can say outside, and she goes to the door and says, outside, outside. So she does that. Um, we've tried to teach her inside, and she says it before, but she doesn't say it on her own. Um, another huge thing she's doing this month is she's putting two words together. So she has been saying, like, what's that, or where'd it go? Um, and here it is, but she all always like runs them into one word and so it's not really, I wouldn't count that as saying more than one word for her quite yet. But this month, towards the end of the month, she's been putting two words together, mainly um, bye bye blank or hi blank or hey blank. So um, the first one I ever heard her say was bye bye baby because she... <laughs> yeah. But those are really the only words that she has put together so far. Besides like, thank you, she says thank you, and hey girl, and all the other ones that I've already said. Hey girl. And she also, the last one she says this month is passy. She says pass. Can you say pass? Pet. Pass. 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 Pass, there you go. Um, so that is super cute. So the other things that she has done this month, let's see. Um, like I said, she was teething pretty badly. It was making her, you know, lose sleep, and she was super cranky a lot. Um, so that was tough, but we got through it, and now I don't think she has any more teeth coming in at the moment. Um, she slept in a bed with me for the very first time this month, and it was on our move back here to South Carolina. Um, I was by myself with her, um, and she, we were at um, her Mimi and Papa's beach house. They were there with us. Um, but she, Mimi? or Mimi was there. He's saying Mimi? And Papa? And Papa, that's right. Um, and we were upstairs in their bonus room, which is a really big room. I think every time she would wake up, she would get nervous of being in a really big room. So, she, I just couldn't get her to go back to sleep in the pack and play. So I made like a barrier of pillows on one side, moved the sound machine, and then laid her down next to me, which has never worked before, but it worked this time, I think, because I just laid there and it was pitch black and I tried not to talk to her or anything. Because normally when I put her on a bed, she thinks it's fun and funny and she's like bouncing around everywhere. What are you doing? Um, but and the rest of the night was fine and I was worried that she would want to sleep with me every night, but she hasn't done that since. So, um, but it did happen. It happened because I caved in and I was tired and she did not want to be in that pack and play. Hey, mommy needs this for her notes. Please. She's smiling. That's how I know she's faking it. Can you say please? Anyways, um, she was waking up super early on the days that we were moving back to South Carolina, which was fine because I was trying to transition her to the Eastern Standard Time. Um, back to our old schedule so I wanted to go one hour ahead if that makes any sense at all. Here you want to get down? She was waking up normally she wakes up around 8 even 7 30 sometimes but she was waking up at the equivalent of like 6 30 Austin time Austin Texas time. Dog? Dog? Um what else? Oh she did the cutest little thing we have a drawer of collars dog collars for the dogs obviously and she pulls that out. I leave it in a door that she can get just so that um, she's not getting the stuff that she's not supposed to be getting into. But she grabbed the collar, she ran over, told River to stay, put it on his head, and then grabbed my camera and held it up and said, cheese, like she was gonna take a picture of him. So it's just funny to see the things that she is catching on to, um, things that we do and stuff like that. Oh, another really big thing is that Jane went to the beach for the first time this month, right? I cannot believe that we waited until she was one and a half. Um, it, it was probably good because she had a really, really good experience and she had a lot of fun. 
Um, but the crazy thing is I have the Time Hop app. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it basically um, connects to your Facebook and your Instagram and any other app you want it to connect to. And it shows you every day what you were doing or what you posted, whether it's a status or a picture. Um, one year, two year, three year, all the way back to as far as it can count. I've gotten one that was like seven years ago before. Um, and so on the day that we went to the beach, I looked at my Time Hop app and it was actually the same exact day, one year ago, that we took her to the pool for the first time. So that was a little bit creepy and really cool, um, but she loved the beach and she's been back since like two times. So um, she's definitely a beach baby and enjoyed herself a lot. And I have a vlog of that if you want to look at that as well. Um, I think that's it. Let me double check on my phone. Writing. Um, she learned to jump this month, month which actually, um, she also went to her first gymnastics class this month. I'm going to try to vlog one of her gymnastics classes for you guys, but um, she learned to jump before the gymnastics class, and then while we were in the class, the teacher said that most kids don't jump until two or more, so she was really surprised that Jane could jump. But Jane loves jumping, right? And also in the gymnastics class, she learned how to do a somersault, so now she does somersaults all the time, which is super cute. Um, she is in the, um, originally we signed her up for the gymnastics class from um, 12 months to 19 months, and obviously she just turned 18 months, but they bumped her up to the next level because um, she's still really big for her age, and also um, the kids in that class were on the younger side of like 12 to 15 months, and some of them couldn't even walk yet, so Jane is in the bigger class, which I'm a little bit nervous about because there's gonna be like three-year-olds in the class as well. So we'll just see how it goes, but I know Jane will have fun because she likes to run around with other kids anyways. So gymnastics is going well. Um, she had a popsicle for the first time this month. It was a lemonade popsicle and she enjoyed that. We've had a lot of afternoons and evenings in our backyard with the sprinkler. Hi. Was that a good Fig Newton? It's all over your face and hands. Yeah, you shake me head, yes. Um, and that's it. So mainly just a lot of new words from her. She is talking up a storm. She tells us no sometimes um, on things that we ask her. You say no. She knows if she's doing something bad, she'll say no, no, no. Right, Jane? And she's just growing so fast. Sorry for all the food on her face right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be back with lots of new videos coming soon. Um, a lot of sit-down videos and some more um, vlogs for you guys. I don't think they can see you standing up that tall. Can you say bye-bye? Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Can you blow a kiss? Bye, guys. See you next time.